Vince walking into Brett's locker room while we were all standing there, myself, uh, Davey Boy, Owen, um, British Bulldog, um, you know, the whole crew. We were all standing in there because we were like, kind of like, you know, and he's pissed, right? But again, you know, in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's, because he, these guys play this all the way out mm -hmm. because the more they can get the boys to believe it, the more it's going to get over on TV and everywhere else and in the media. So I'm not buying into it and I don't know anybody else is buying into it. And then Vince comes walking in with Pat Patterson and, oh, I don't know, a few other of the agents come walking in and I'm standing in there and I remember Brett saying to me, um, prior uh, to after this happening and prior saying to me, hey, you know, there might be some stuff. You got my, you got my back. And I was like, absolutely. But I didn't know what he was talking. I thought he was talking about some of the boys. Like, right. like, you know, there was the Brett crew and then there was the, the other crew. Right. And it was the Shawn Michaels and Brett Hart kind of feud. And uh, so no one's really buying into what's going on. And so Vince walks in, he's got all these, these agents with him. He walks in and, and uh, Vince says, everybody get out. Right, this is my boss. <laughs> right. right, it's like, I mean, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I got you, Brett, but like, this is my boss, right? And right. so I'm like stuck, going, I'm looking at Brett and I'm looking at Dave and everybody else, and they start leaving, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going too. Like, I'm not staying. Did Brett give you kind of any like look to like? He stay, just, well, or he looked right he at me, and he guys, he go, you know, it's kind of like that. Okay, so he, gave, so he gave us all kind of this indication that you, you know, and but but again, I wasn't, I couldn't. I mean, this is. Vince, right, right, <laughs> right? Right, right, So we were all leaving no matter what, you know. Uh, so it was just kind of one of those things, right? You're like, you, you, this is this is the guy I work for. But I, I got Brett. I mean, like, Brett, I've always had his back, right? Yeah. This is a whole different situation when you're talking about your boss coming in and going, right. get out. Right. Yeah, and so I'm. we're all slowly walking out. And, ev and, and because um, everybody else is walking out, too, it's just Brett and Vince. So we're all just leaving, right? We're thinking, okay, they're going to talk. So we walk out the door. We hear this thing going off. Uh, Pat Patterson goes, he goes in first. Uh, the rest of us are kind of trying to peek through the door. And, uh, and Vince comes walking out. And he's tore up. I mean, like, his right. clothes and everything. Just You know he'd been in a ruffle. So we all start filing in after... Vince walks away, me and Davey Boy and Owen all start walking in and Brett's getting dressed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we're like, what happened, bro? And he hit him. Right. Brett hit him and they went at it. And what was his demeanor like? His he was quiet. Like, didn't say, he just, just put his clothes on. Did you kind of just leave him alone? Yeah. He's just, we just kind of like, hey, you know, he didn't say anything. He said, we said, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And just, he put his clothes on. Right. We all just like, okay. But again, like I said, I'm still living in this fantasy world. Like, we still don't know. I would have thought probably, like, I can just imagine, like, yeah. you probably still think it's a work. We don't know, right? Right. So, that's why... Isn't that amazing? It, Isn't that... That's, it's freaky I, when you don't know something that, that, that serious, like with the yeah. Owen thing, and of course this thing. You just don't know, right? And so, when it, we finally started really understanding it, it was probably by the end of the night where I knew I'd started knowing because, you know, I'd been around Brett and then these guys, I knew something was happening. Right. This was wrong. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, and that really, I think, I led into um, my disappointment. But right. I, when, when I was asked, I was like, I, I don't understand that. I don't know how this could happen when we got to walk into a ring and we have to trust one another. And I've been building this trust ever since I got here. And now I've, I'm wondering where I stand if I go into a match and somebody doesn't want to do something or something, maybe I piss off the, the, the brass or the agent and they tell somebody, hey, drop him on his head. Mm. It's like, I gotta give, I mean, I'm giving him my body. Right. And so all these things start going in your head and you're going, man, where's the trust now? Because that came from the top. And so you're thinking to yourself, wow. And then not, not too far after that, Owen dies. Falls from the rafters. And I'm just like, I mean, it's all of this stuff building up. And you're just thinking to yourself. And, it, and again, not that it's real or anything like that, but you're talking about wrestlers. And I know I'm talking, I'm speaking for myself, but I don't know what anybody else has felt. But I'm feeling at this point in time like, Where's my trust? Like, my trust is not good now. Right. Like, 
you know, they that's 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 a hard place to be when you're walking into a wrestling ring and somebody's going to come off the top rope um, and drop an elbow on your neck or a knee on your neck or that they're going to pile drive you and you got all this other stuff running around in your head that's starting to happen. Right. And it just was uncomfortable. I know my performance went way down. You look at my matches when I started as opposed to when those things happen. You know, I just, I've, I've started feeling distant from it. Right. And here's the thing. That can't be a coincidence. No, but here's the thing. It, what, Bret Hart reached out and helped me. Helped me understand my character. Helped me understand that I wasn't going to be like everybody else. Don't be like everybody else. Don't take hip tosses. Don't do this. Don't be the shooter. Be the guy. Helped me. It groomed me. Um, I spent time down there with him. Nobody else did that, right? And Vince is backing Brett doing this. Like, they're good, so I'm good. And then this happens, and now all of a sudden, it felt like I was being forced to choose between this guy that gave me his time and helped me, Brett Hart, and gave me a push, uh, literally wanted to work an angle with me and drop the strap to me, all these things, and I had confidence in him, got me where I was at, and, 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 and Vince was behind him on doing this, working with me, all these things coming together. And now this split happens. And now it's, and, and not that they were asking me because they weren't, but it just felt like I was put in a position that I had to choose sides. Like literally when this thing went off and I was hanging with Brett, I hung with him because I was familiar with him. Right. Not because I was taking a stand against the WWF or Vince. It was This was what I was familiar with. Right. And it was something would have happened. I'm not going to stand in, 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 you know, with Brett and, and, and beat up Vince. It's right. not going to happen. Right. Um, but I've got Brett's back like, hey, bro, you doing all right? You know, is everything OK? You making sure he's OK. Whatever's happening between him and Vince, I'm with him to help him get over it. You're a friend. Right. I'm not against Vince. Right. And I think that that's kind of where things started to start moving towards. And it felt like I was getting beat more and more. I was being asked to do things that just weren't, in my opinion, uh, good for me or my family. Right. Um, and so these things just started to, to move in that direction. It might have been my insecurities or my my um, not being confident in what they were doing with me um, since this thing happened. And I felt so much pressure that I, because I was now one of Brett's boys, which was fine in the, the in the beginning, to where now this thing happened. You know, he didn't want to drop it to Sean. He wanted to drop it to me. Now I'm right smack dab in the middle of this. Like this whole confrontation happened because Brett wanted to drop this. He didn't want to drop it to Sean. He didn't want to drop it to me or anybody else that they maybe put in place. But I know he came to me and said, hey, I want to work the and I want to drop the strap. Right. I knew that, right? And so now all this stuff's happening and he refused to drop it to Sean. So they do this. 